We're here at Sun and Fun 2021, and we're checking out a lot of interesting aircraft, and we're so glad we can do that this week back at an air show. Yay! So one that I've been watching is a group of fellows here, and they're sort of sitting behind us, and they're part of an act that goes on here every evening that I personally find pretty cool. These guys are very good at flying foot-launched versions of these in pretty darn close formation, I would say, and you make it look great. So good on you for doing all that. How's Thank that you, been sir. going? You've been yeah. doing that for a few years Since now, 2016 right? at Oshkosh. Yeah. yeah, that was our first show, and we been able to highlight these to millions of people all over the U.S. It's been a lot of fun. It's great stuff, so keep that work up. Now, the rig is interesting, too, because it's obviously a two-place vehicle, uh, so you can do flight instruction in this. For you people can. Who go, well, how do I learn how to fly one of these foot launch things? Do I just, like, start running? So we actually, our, our business is teaching people how to fly these foot launch or wheel launch, okay. and we utilize the, the tandem trikes like this before we let people fly solo on their own. So they get the feel for how to stop an oscillation, how to understand how the flare works, that kind of thing. And it's a great method. But this one behind us is a little bit different than most. If you look around the field, you may see other trikes. This one's a bit bigger. I'm 6'4", and yeah, it's taller yeah. than me. Yeah, this is, this All is right? a pretty large vehicle. I mean, well above my head, so now, yeah. It's actually swinging a giant prop on it, what looks like... An engine you recognize, I right? thought it was a 503. I asked you if it was a 503, and you said? It's not a 503. <laughs> this is actually an RMZ 500. So this is a new manufacturer out of Russia. Russia. Who's modeled the 503. I've flown behind dozens and dozens of 503s throughout my life flying ultralights. This thing is just like a 503. I don't know how they got away with it, but it runs like one. Its maintenance is like one. Its fuel burn is like one. This is the 503 we've all been waiting for, and it's being built in Russia. And, so. and we're on the other side of it, but it is a dual-carb 503. Dual-carb, correct. Look alike. Yep. Do, what, do they have a name for it? Do they call RMZ it? 500. Okay, yep. RMZ They're Russian. It's not, it's not the creativity of the world, you know. Yeah, but, right. Uh, well, that's all right, but now we know it's an RMZ 500, and it is a dual-carb. Correct. Now, on the 503, that produced uh, 50 horsepower, as I yep, recall. Yep, about 50. I think it was 52. Yep. 52, yes. And so this thing, I'm guessing now, because I'm, I'm, I don't know how much the vehicle weighs, but... About 240 yeah. pounds. 240, okay. Yep, that's so, 240. first of all, this could be if it was single place, easily an ultralight, yep. but not with the two seats. Yeah. But I guess you could probably just take one out. Well, we but had to stick with the pull start. They do offer uh, ah, an electric okay. start and a clutched option, but in order to keep it under 254, we went with the pull start, and it does start really easy. It start, just I always I had the mini maxes, right? So you stand up over the seat, lean over, and, pop, and pull. It's just like that, but this motion instead. Very yeah. clean, easy starting. And, and this year is the so first year. So you can easily do this from the seat. From then. the seat, no okay. problem. Cool. We actually are using this in our aerobatic demonstration this year, which is the first time we've ever done that. So we've got this giant oh, trike oh, is that right? upside down, oh, which cool. is pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, some great flying. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't see that part, but I'll be watching now as a whole bunch of other people have been already. Okay, so this engine, now I kind of want to focus on this. I mean, it's certainly, I mean, I, I can't tell it. Visually, I cannot tell the difference. Maybe a genuine expert could see something that's different, but I, I'm not seeing I have it. not been able to find a difference yet myself. So it's it's basically a Rotax 503, and I think that this is a, a great step to start seeing these venerable engines actually come back on the market because yeah, for so long we've missed Rotax them. is not going to do it. We've asked, yep. and they just don't see a market for that, and they're focused on other things, so that's fine. Uh, so I'm kind of glad that somebody's come out with something that can work here for this weight class. Exactly. Now, if Rotax would build me an engine for my RV6, I'd be really happy. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> well, you know, maybe they'll get to everything, and maybe they'll come back to the light stuff again, uh, but I don't blame them for going where they've gone with it. They've done very, very well Indeed. with that 912, and they probably should focus on their strength. But for folks flying something like this, that looks like a pretty good combo. It's more power than you'd ever need. The climb rate on this is so obs obscene. Like what? You got a number? I would guess somewhere in the range of 1,000 to 1,500 feet a minute. <laughs> uh, we haven't, there's no <laughs> instrumentation on this one to, to clarify that, but it climbs roughly double the speed of our normal backpack units. Is that right? Wow. And we actually had to size and down those the those aren't glider. exactly slouches, so no, that's No, no, they're, they're climbing about 450 to 600 a minute. Yeah. So, yeah, this is quite the, uh, wow, the exceptional maybe climb. Then, huh? Yep. Wow. Great. Well, that's got to be really good when you're doing flight instruction, and some people are eating a few, few too many hamburgers. So you could put a 220-pound instructor in the back right? seat and a 300-pound passenger in the front, no problem. No, yeah. really? Yep. Excellent. Well, that's really great. I'm so glad you're doing that, and I'm so excited to see this. But I got to ask you a question. Okay, if something breaks on the engine, then what? They call us. We get the parts for them directly from Russia. We have a, a massive inventory and warehouse in Lake Wales where our okay, schools are. Okay, you are holding parts yep. here now. Yep. You don't have to wait for the correct, Russians to send correct. it to you. Now, we don't have a ton of parts for this right now, but if we get a whole bunch of people who contact us and want to buy the engine, I'll buy a bunch of parts. Okay. Right now, there's not a whole lot of these flying in the U.S. There's no reason to have a million dollars in parts. When did it first come out? Uh, my understanding, the, this one we received about a year and three months ago, and we've just been testing the heck out of it before we started pushing it good, to the market. Good, good for you. So I'm glad we to want to make that. sure it was. Are they good. a new company though? It's kind of what I was. No, getting RMZ at. is not. They've been around for quite some time, is my understanding. Ah, uh, okay. We found them through one of our uh, the 
paramotor frame manufacturers in Italy, and they've been using the engine for several years with great success. Is that right? Well, excellent. Okay, so now you're going to represent the engine too, you said? For sure. Okay, for sure. so where, where are you doing that at? Uh, we're in Lake Wales, Florida. That's Websites. where you're doing that too, yep. though? Okay. Yep, the website's a aviatorparamotor.com, where they can find all, all the information. If they're looking for the engines, just have them email us, service at aviatorppg.com, and we're here to serve. Aviator, say, so say the engine part again? Uh, they just contact us, service at aviatorppg.com. Aviatorppg.com, and that'll yep. cover the engine plus all the other stuff that you, Correct. That Absolutely. you handle. Correct. Okay, yep. real good stuff. So are you going to fly again tonight, and is this going to go off again tonight? I think tomorrow night for the night show over on the main stage, we're oh, going to rip it up okay, once cool, again. Looking cool. forward to it. All right, great. Well, we'll be watching for that. But uh, meanwhile, thanks for information. We've got uh, ways to contact you now to ask about that. My guess is, I mean, are you prepared to support fixed wing guys that want absolutely. these or is it only a powered parachute thing no absolutely we want to help fixed wing guys as well thing. we have a, a t-shirt that says hashtag fly all the things and I, <laughs> I do my best to fly fixed wing paramotor you name it we try to get in the sky with it uh, we're currently a Polini and Viterazzi dealer as well so a lot of these lighter engines are going to the Polini 303 now uh, in fact I've got a meeting with the guys at Cold they're wanting to mount one of those apparently so yeah, the Polini is just like erupted in America yeah it's I done mean, really you guys well. have been using it for years but exactly. other people are going hey that thing works exactly and it works well and we're seeing really good reliability now which we weren't at first so uh -huh. seeing that with the liquid cool Polinis has been really great to see excellent excellent well good luck with those good Thank luck you, with this good luck with your air show but keep us posted about that engine I think people are going to want to learn more we will do I try and keep up with all this stuff I have trouble keeping up with it all but I try and focus on the affordable aviation and Eric has just showed us another way you can help keep the price down. Absolutely. Excellent. Good it. stuff. Have Thanks a good for day. joining us. Thank